Hi, this is Kenny Gable with KD Cuts. Today we're going to do some paint pouring in this video. I've done a few videos on paint pouring and I've done small projects, leather bracelets. Today we're going to do something a little more ambitious and larger. We're going to paint pour a belt. So let me show you how to set this up. I'm starting with a Tandy embossed belt blank. Picked this up a while back on sale. It was a great price. I've stained it black with a Tandy's EcoFlow water-based stain. And the reason for that is as the belt wears, you'll be wearing into a black background and not into the flesh tone of the leather. I've gone ahead and masked the back in preparation for the paint pour. This is the buckle I'm going to use for this belt. And just like the embossed blank, I got this from Tandy, and it was on sale at a great price. You'll notice inside of that pretty turquoise stone some white highlights, and then some darker blues and blacks. And then, of course, you have the silver and black in the belt buckle itself. So those are going to be the colors I use for this paint pour. Got my pouring supply set up. You see I've got my colors, basic sergeant acrylics. I've got turquoise, silver, black, white, and blue. You realize the blue is very close to that turquoise. I've also got the gloss and a flow medium. When you get raw acrylics like this, they don't have any sort of gloss in them. You have to put that in. And the flow medium helps with flowing the paint. This is the larger, largest project I've done for paint pouring yet. So let's get to mixing. So I've already mixed up the first four colors. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I mix up the fifth one, the blue. Make sure it's shaking real well. I'm really only using about maybe a tenth of the cup volume with the paint. Now I'm putting in the medium. And since this is a large project, I'm going to use a lot of medium. And then I'm going to add in my gloss. And then we're going to mix it up. And this is going to take me less than a minute, but I'm going to make sure it's real, really well mixed. All right, let's start mixing our paints. Here we go. So notice how the flow medium really helps that paint flow. guys paint poured belt we're gonna let that set up now I'm gonna carefully dip my edges make sure my edges are covered I'm gonna end up using a black 
edge coat on this. But just in case I change my mind, I'd like all the edges to be the same color as the pour itself. So we've poured the belt and I've got it sitting out set up for at least 24 hours before we do anything else. I think it looks really fantastic and will match the buckle perfectly. Finish the belt, attach the buckle and the hardware. You can see I use line 20 snaps for that. It's a beautiful day here in New Orleans. I've got a little WWOZ playing on the radio in the background. And I really like the way these colors came out. You can see now the difference between that turquoise and the blue. I think it's very, very interesting. And then here are my holes. And there you have it, a paint poured belt. Now here's my edges. See that? Used uh, the black edge coat. Slicked the back with gum trigant. Give it a nice neat look. And there you have it, a paint poured belt on a beautiful afternoon in New Orleans. Hope you like this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, bye.